Hello everyone and thanks for joining me this time on the Brain Bean Gaming channel. I'm doing something a little bit different this time in that I am bringing you a build that isn't quite finished yet. I'm only level 32 and I did it as a bit of a distraction to test a theory that I had about kind of like a reactive tank build and I was just real excited about it and I want to show you guys what I did so far. So I'm doing a little bit of gameplay first just so you can kind of see how the build works. The idea behind it is that it's a fire-based tank build that pretty much any time I'm getting hit, I have retaliation damage from different kind of fire effects that proc, as well as uh, in the Devotion Tree, I took a skill that procs a ring of fire that goes around my character. And it's just proven to be a really solid build so far. It's a bit gear dependent, and we'll get into that a little bit later. But I wanted to just start off by showing you just kind of how effective the build is and let you see just a bit of gameplay. So doing this in the Royal Hives, and I, this is actually kind of about where I'm at in the point of the campaign with this character, but it's also a really good uh, build that is good for this character because there's not a lot of ranged mobs here, and there's just a lot of mob density too, so the effect procs just look a little bit better. So some of the pros and cons of this build, it's got tons of survivability. I mean, I, even early on the game, it's very easy to survive. The mobs don't hit that hard. And you don't even really need to pick up a bunch of defensive skills until later on in the game. But even that being said, this build, I hardly ever have to pop any of my defensive cooldowns. And damage output, it is definitely a bit slower to clear. But I'm actually pretty surprised with where it's at without even having that much uh, plus and fire damage things yet. And my gear is pretty crap. I mean, it's all self-found stuff that I've gotten kind of as I've gone. And I've had pretty terrible luck on this character so far, too. So it's performing really well with just pretty basic stuff. And I'll go through and show you guys that as well. Alright, so you've kind of seen how it performs so far. Let's go ahead and just get into a bit of the build. So this is a commando, so this is soldier and demolitionist. And so far what I did is I would start demolitionist. And just for the sake of getting your first few levels, what I did was I went ahead and picked up fire strike and explosive strike and was playing this more as a ranged build just because you clear a lot faster and you're going to get through the early content in the game so much quicker than if you're just trying to tank and keep, there's no need for that because the mobs they really don't hit hard until you get a lot farther in the game so do that for a while then you can just respect those points out i went ahead and took all 20 points in demolitionist first you're gonna want to pick up flame touch because it gives you a big buff to your fire damage offensive ability burn damage uh, so it's, it's a must have for the build i put one point in temper and I'm probably going to take more points in it for the plus to retaliation damage later, but for right now I've got other concerns. Stun Jacks is good to just pick up because it's a nice little uh, frontal area stun that you can throw out. It's kind of like an oh shit button, but it helps. Um, Vindictive Flame is a big one for this build. You're going to max that out eventually. And I have quite a few points in it now because it really is helping just speed up as I go, just with a lot more killing power. And then Ulzuin's Wrath, we're going to take a point in that. So... Uh, coming over into Soldier, we're going to max out Soldier eventually because we want to pick up um, in here's Bulwark uh, because it's going to provide a ton more survivability and really this build is just a tanky build so I want it to be super freaking tanky. Um, Cadence, we're going to pick up Cadence as our main hand attack with Discord so 50% of our damage gets converted to elemental damage because we are a fire damage build. Field Command and Squad Tactics will be maxed out. Also going to max out Military Conditioning. Um, and here's Will. Overguard is a great 1-point wonder defensive skill. Fighting Spirit. Uh, Markovian's Advantage as well as Zolhan's Technique. And Warcry is also uh, just really good for the 33% reduction to enemy's health. So let's take a look at my gear real quick. One thing I will suggest, since this is a fire build, one thing that you can do early on if you're finding that if you do want to build it tanky and you're just going to use Cadence right off the bat, you can really speed up your clearing speed by if you have a Searing Ember, grab one. I'll show you here. Equip it to your weapon 
And the skill it gives you is very potent, especially if you're picking up um, some points in your flame touch, because it's going to give you a lot of extra fire damage. And I'll just show you on these mobs here, especially on the early content, this is a huge, huge buff. But you just throw out tons of these fireballs. And it's going to just clear stuff really, really quickly. Plus it's ranged, which is a big help. So you see here, I'm just blasting through this stuff. So that's one thing you can do. That's just a little quick tip. Um, really on this build, guys, you're going to want a lot of things. Like I have um, Fire Aura on my shield, as well as this shield has 20% chance on block for Seismic Blast. So anything reactive on your shield, Fire Novas or things like that are a must. The Fire Aura is granted from using the Ashes uh, something, uh, Enchanted Flint. So that's definitely going to be something that you're going to want to have on your shield. Uh, also, Calamity is a great relic to start out with because on attack it makes you have that little burst of uh, fireballs that's coming out. That has helped speed up my clearing speed quite a bit as well as it has plus fire damage, offensive ability, all really great things for this build. Um, you can see a lot of this stuff is just fire damage augmenting things, attack speed, um, just different things are going to proc stuff on attack. You can see a fireball chance on attack. Um, stuff like that so also uh, eyes of flame is a good helm to start out with as well fire damage just things you're going to want to stack what i've been doing with my points is basically a two physique one cunning and then two physique one cunning one spirit and i've just been kind of doing that because there's not really anything in this build that uses spirit except for cadence uses just a tiny bit i mean you can see here it, it's like two energy it's not a lot but Every once in a while, if I pop all my cooldowns and I'm using stun jacks and um, Warcry a bit, it does tend to knock my energy down a little bit because with all the skills that we have toggled on, it's going to end up eating up a huge chunk of our energy bar with this build. Also, one thing I'm going to do for you guys real quick, now that I've kind of shown you the gameplay and the breakdown of the build, is I'm going to go jump over to Grimcalc here in just a minute and show you what the end game plan for the build is. Also, real quick... Let's go ahead and show you the devotion too before I forget that. So for devotion, what I've been doing, I feel like it's important to start out in the beginning with more damage things to help you clear the early content. Because like I said, I found that mobs don't really hit that hard in normal mode in general, but especially not until you get into like Act 3 and 4, you need to worry about defensive stuff as much. So what I did was I started out and picked up the node in Crossroads for uh, the Chaos um, side of things so that I could come over here and pick up the imp or the fiend is what it's called uh, go up the fiend and you're gonna grab flame torrent for the main attack and what that does is it just gives you this kind of like little AOE flames swirling around you which is really cool looking but also for this build I mean it's all about fire and things pulsing out and exploding stuff so it's perfect fit for the build really um, this point in Crossroads can actually be refunded after you get the Fiend, and I've just been lazy and I haven't done it yet. Uh, afterwards, you're going to pick up in the Primordial side of things, you're going to pick up the node right here, go up into Sailor's Guide, a lot of good resists here. It's it's pretty much any tanky build or melee build, it's, it's a given. Uh, from there, I went and picked up Tortoise for the Turtle Shell ability, which is pretty strong, and bound that to Vindictive Flame. And from there, it's all about picking up enough points to get over here and get Light of Empyrean, which I'm going to go into a little bit of that more when I show you on Grim Calc. So hold on just a second while I get things swapped over, and we will jump into Grim Calc. All right, so let's take a quick look at the build in Grim Calc. This is the level 85 version of the build. Starting off in Soldier, we're going to max Soldier out completely, and that's so that we can get to Minhir's Bulwark and max that out because... This is going to give us 12% damage absorption, plus 50% constitution, 35 health regen per second, um, as well as uh, Grimcalc doesn't have it on here, and that's maybe because it was updated, but it also has retaliation damage. Starting it off, we're going to take 16 points in Cadence, as well as 3 points in Discord, and then 1 point in Fighting Form, 1 point in Deadly Momentum. 
Cadence is going to be our main uh, main hand attack for now, and I may switch it out depending um, how it's going. Again, I'm, I'm only level 32 with this build, so this is just kind of what I projected that I'm going to use. I may free up these points and just use something uh, like a, an item if I can get one that has something like Troll Rage or, you know, for instance, something like that. I need to look at the items and see. Uh, Markovian's Advantage, again, one point. All Hands Technique, one point. All the Soldier, one point. Wonders, Warcry... Uh, break morale, Menders will overguard, military conditioning will take 10 points because the health and physique for tank bonus is, uh, tank build is huge. Shield training, I take a point in that mainly because for items that are going to give one to all point in soldier skills, it'll be nice to have a point in that. Veterancy will take a point, decorated soldier will take a point, four points in scars of battle, four the bleeding resistance, and the increase in armor absorption. Coming over to Demolitionist. I chose to take 32 points in it overall because Blast Shield is pretty awesome. It absorbs quite a bit of damage as well as the Pierce Resist, Fire Resist is really nice. Fire Retaliation is really good for the build and it activates at 75% which with a good tank build we're still going to take a bit of damage so I would say if it was going to activate it like you know 30% or something like that it may not be worth it but it's going to activate quite a bit at 75% health. Maxing out Flame Touched is a given, as well as 10 points in Temper because of the bonus um, to Retaliation damage that is not on Grim Calc again for some reason. Uh, plus Armor is okay, plus Physical Damage is good, so uh, that's why we took that. We kept Stun Jacks for the bit of Crowd Control. It's a nice little oh shit button, like I said. I've still got the one point in Granado and one in High Impact. I'm not sure if I'll still be using that. Um, at this stage of the game yet and earlier I forgot to mention where I'm putting my attribute points and I just wanted to show you guys I'm going to do what I've been doing is two in physique one in cunning come back two in physique one in cunning one in spirit and just kind of doing it that way so two one two one one and just going that way and the reason for that is this build really doesn't have anything that uses hardly any spells Granado takes a little bit, um, popping things like Overguard and Warcry. They use a little bit of energy, but I hardly ever use that much. Now, the reason I'm putting a little bit of Spirit in there is so that, um, you know, this... I have so many things you toggle on with this build that are cutting down my Spirit Bar to, like, half of what it normally would be. And that way, you just don't run into situations as often where you have to keep eating energy pots on a build that doesn't even really use that much energy. Coming over to Devotion Tree, let's just take a quick look at it. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Take a point in Chaos, come over, fill out the Fiend, bind that to Cadence. Then you can refund that point there. Pick up a point, uh, the Primordial Crossroads, and we're getting the Sailor's Guide. From there we picked up Tortoise. And I bound mine to Vindictive Flame, it really doesn't matter, you can bind it to anything you want. Uh, then we're going to pick up the eel, and from here, pick up the crane. Let me zoom in to click that. That gives you a lot of resistances. It's, it's, I mean, for a tank build, you want to have a lot of resist, especially when you get into ultimate. Uh, the crossroads point for orders, another one that... Um, I don't actually think you need to take that, because when we come over here and pick up Solemn Watcher for all the resistances that it gives. That's gonna knock us up to enough points to, we need one more point in Primordial to be able to get Light of Empyrean. So we're gonna pick up a uh, Lizard. Sorry, I, I had this, uh, I had this pre-planned out and my computer erased all of it, so I'm redoing it again, but this, so that's why it's taking a bit longer. Then we pick up Light of Empyrean. From there, I picked up Tree of Life, just for more healing. A lot of this is going to depend. This is a very defensive build. I have so much in, in Soldier already for all the defenses. Um, and we may not need all of these defensive um, parts of the Devotion Tree. So we're just going to kind of see how that plays out. And it may or may not actually do that. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, then I came over and I grabbed Tip the Scales. 
which is another really nice tanking ability. And from there, we've got four points left to kind of dump wherever we want to. So that's kind of going to be up to you guys for now. One thing I kind of was toying with doing is grabbing like this point in imp here for fire damage. Um, you could also grab some stuff out of shield maiden. Or you could grab a couple of things like the four health and, and health regen on tree of life is pretty nice. Like I said, this is kind of still being planned out. So from here, you know, grab what you want to grab and... Uh, once I get this build leveled up more, I'm going to do another video to kind of show you guys where I'm at and what I decided to do with it. So anyways, that's my fire tanking commando build. Thanks for sticking with me and checking out the video. Let me know if you want to try it out, how it works for you, if you have a similar build or any suggestions on my build or where I put my devotion points. Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, please be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be pumping out a bunch more build videos here pretty soon. I've had a few that I've already recorded and saved and I just need to take the time to cut them and edit them and upload them to YouTube. As always, thanks again for watching the Brain Bean Gaming channel and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>